Hello and welcome to our club guide. Today we're going to be looking at Crystal Palace. Can we do a Steve Pardew? Um, doing well this season in real life. Let's see how we can do with them. So this, the aim of this program is basically to look at the club as a whole. So look at transfer budget, wage budget. Um, see if we've got much room to manoeuvre there. Also look at what the board expect us to achieve this season. And then we're going to look into the youth play, youth team for any good youth talents. And then also look into the main squad. Um, see if there's any areas that we can improve upon. Um, or any areas potentially we could cash in on a player. So first up, we're going to look at what Steve Parrish wants us to achieve this season. So he's he, he's expecting us as part of the vision is to sign young players for the first team and develop players using the club's youth system. I think a lot of most of us like doing that anyway, so that's all good. Finances wise, we've got three million in the bank and six point three million to spend, and we're current currently spending pretty much all of our wages. We might have a forty thousand to spend there or so, um. So that's pretty good. We've got a bit of uh, room to manoeuvre there. Um, as far as the what they want us to achieve this season, um, mid table, which is quite interesting. Um, that might be you know a little bit trickier than some of the other targets we've looked at in the other teams. Um, fifth round of the FA Cup and fourth round of the Capital One Cup. Okay, those two are both sort of pretty standard. We'll have a look at the youth team. We're not going to have a look at all the players. Um, just the sort of main couple of talents as shown by our scouts um, and then uh, go through do the same with the under 21 so let's have a look first at Jason Ienga Lokilo who's a winger uh, 16 years old so the clubs rate him at a possible four star he likes to cut inside so maybe as an inside forward is his best role um, although physicals do go up quite a bit with the youngsters starting off at stamina and strength three is is bad it's you're never going to get more than 10 at, at a push. Um, his work rate isn't great, which is one of those factors that helps him develop in to reach his potential. But his determination, another one, is okay. Um, other than that, he's got decent all-round stats. He could be okay. I'm, I'm not sure if he's ever going to be a world beater. And we'll have a look at Kean Flanagan. 15 years old. Irish. Uh, okay. Okay. Work rate's okay, determination's a little bit low. Um, interesting stats for uh, I think he might develop maybe into a more of advanced playmaker because he's got dribbling and finishing uh, two of his best stats. So maybe it might be look you might be looking to make him into an advanced playmaker or something like that in the attacker midfield role. But a decent player again, not sure if he's going to make it. So we'll look through the couple of talents at the top here. So we've got Suli Kakai. Kaki, Kai Kai, Su, Sule Kai Kai. You'll know from my videos I can't do names. Um, he's an attacking midfielder left, but very versatile, can fit in pretty much all the way across the midfield. He's 19 years old, potential four and a half stars um, from our scouts. He kills the ball, tries long range free kicks, cuts inside from both wings, and hits free kicks with power. So another inside forward by the looks of it. Um, Finishing is a bit slightly of an issue for that. He's got decent okay stats. His work rate's not great. That's that's an issue, especially for a winger and a youngster. Um, determination is 10. I think he will do definitely struggle to reach his potential, but could become a sort of half-decent player. Next up, we've got Johnny Williams, who's a 21-year-old 20, Welsh midfielder. Um, valued at 4.7 million. Plays centre mid, but can fill in uh, and also attack it behind the front man, which is quite nice as a natural position, and also fill in on the wings. Um, decent all-round player, good dribbling, um, okay pace, 12 and 13 for pace and acceleration is okay. Work rates 14, stimulations 10. Decent all-round player. I think he could be possibly become sort of a squad player, I think, at best. He's not going to set the world alight, unfortunately. Next up, we're going to the main squad, so let's have a quick look through. So, in goal, we have Julian Spironi, who's out for two months at the start of the game, but he's a decent keeper. You know all about him as a Crystal Palace fan. Um, good handy, really good one-on-ones and reflexes. He's definitely a shot stopper. Um, his distribution's pretty poor. Um, kicking's 10, throwing's 10, um, but I'm that decent keeper. He's 36 now, so it's definitely one to replace sooner rather than later and his backup or his competition is Alex McCarthy he's a decent goalkeeper nothing spectacular um, that's maybe one area of the team we might need to start looking at next up is right backs we have Joel Ward 
um, 25 years old, can play right back or left back and can fill it in all sorts of positions, a bloody rainbow over here. Um, really good player, actually. Um, love his physicals. He is going to run all day. 17 natural fitness, 17 stamina. Good, good going forward as well. Quality right back. Really like him, actually. And 25 years old, can still improve somewhat. Next, we have Martin Kelly, the ex-Liverpool guy. Um, he was limited from Liverpool through injuries, but I'm glad he's getting some game time at Palace now. Um, he's a decent all-rounder, really. He can equally... I'm almost tempted to play him at centre-back. He can equally play centre-back and right-back, so um, if you've got Joel Ward as your main right-back, this guy's perfect on the bench to have. Fill in at right-back, can do a job at centre-back as well. Um, decent player. And still only 25. Um, any other right backs? Yeah, so they're your two right back options, really. Um, left backs, you have one in the entirety. Joel Ward obviously can play left back, but um, Papa Soare, he's okay. He's versatile, but he's, he's tackling and marking are both uh, not fantastic for a defensive minded. Um, but going forward, he's good. That will definitely need work on. He's 25, so he can improve. Left back is definitely an area I'd probably, so far, that left back is what I'd buy first, I think. All right, centre backs. We have 33 year old Damien Delaney. Um, been around for years. Good player, solid player. His marking's a little bit low. He's not the paciest, but he's okay for a centre back. Uh, good leadership and teamwork, so he could be, a, I'm not sure, club captain or vice captain. Um, but he'd definitely be a leader on the field. Um, good decision making. He's got good mentals all around, really. Decent player, but he is 33, so it's. And again, Angeland, full 34. Another very similar, just slightly upgrade, I would say. Um, but he is another year older. His pace is getting worse, as you'd expect. Um, great heading. He's better in the air than he is on, uh, on the grounds, but still a quality player. Used to love him in the old FMs. Next up we have Scott Dan, who's, a bit, who's the youngest of the three we've looked at centre-back wise so far. Um, decent all-round player. He's I hate him because he just scored against Liverpool at the weekend. Uh, physicals are okay. Again, he's good at heading, tackling. He's got all the got all the markings of a decent centre-back. Um, yeah, he's a quality player, definitely. Um, and he's a bit younger as well, which is nice because you needed a younger one than the other two guys. Okay, so. It's definitely somewhere that needs strength in this whole defensive line. You've got one right back and your backup right back is also your going to be your third, fourth choice centre back. And Pabasuari is your only left back other than Joel Ward. So yeah, definite strengthening needing. This is probably where you don't need strengthening. In central midfield you have bloody Johan Kabai. Couldn't believe it when you signed him. Absolute great purchase for Palace. Um... He's your hanker by, isn't he? He's 29 years old. He's at the peak. He's absolute beast of a player. Make sure you give build a team around him. Next up, we have Joel Ledley, another fantastic player. Slightly more defensive than can buy in, in this game anyway. His tackling's really good. His marking's really good. Um, I Potentially, if you play a DM, I'd just work on that so it becomes a natural. But he's an absolute quality player. and still got a good few years left in him. James MacArthur. Again, centre mid, defensive midfielder. He's more of a playmaker style. Um, not the paciest, but he'll run all day long. Um, good tackling, good passing, good marking. Um, things like long shots are, are not fantastic. Um, he might be sort of slightly better off sort of pinging the passes out. What's his passing? 15, yeah, sort of pinging the pass. Definitely a deep line playmaker role for James MacArthur. And then we've got Marl Yedidak. Um, 30 years old now. He's a very, very good defensive midfielder. <clears throat> so you, you are sorted for options in central midfield. Absolutely. And also, you've got Jordan Much, who's uh, he's okay. He's a decent. He's got room to improve. He's only 23. So, but I, he'd be a sort of squad player. He can sort of fill in both both roles. I think quite comfortably. But yeah, you're sorted in in central midfield. Next up, we got the wingers. We got Jason Punchin. Um, decent all-rounder, 29 years old now, so not the youngest. He's going to start to decline now, um, but still got a decent amount of pace. Good all-rounder, has no real weak points in his game. Very versatile as well, can play on the wings and can play behind the striker. Next up we have Bakary Sacco. Um, very similar really, a little bit younger than Punchin, but similar sort of stats. 
good pace, slightly quicker, um, but good all-rounder without being exceptional in any area. Next up we have Yannick Bellassi. Now when we want to talk about pace, you talk about Yannick Bellassi. I'm surprised he's only 17. Um, but acceleration 18, uh, strength 16, yeah, dribbling 18. He's going to destroy people on the wings for fun. Flair 19, yeah, definitely. Um, his, his finishing um, is, is, is a slight issue. Um, I, that's why I probably wouldn't play him as an inside forward, unless you're going to work on that. He's 26, so you've got time. Um, but yeah, absolute quality player. Next up for sort of winger options, we have. I'll go through the other ones that can play striker next. We've got Lee Chung Yong. Um, he's okay, 26 years old, decent squad player, versatile, play behind the front man or on the wings. Yeah, not much to say about him really. Then as a uh, winger and also striker options, we have Patrick Bamford on loan from Chelsea. I really rate this kid in, in real life. I think they should have kept him and actually given him game time. He can't be any worse than Falcao, to be honest, can he? Let's be fair. Or Diego Costa at the moment. Um, decent all-rounder. Um, he's not going to be your first choice, but I, do, I, I imagine you don't have a option to buy because that would be good. Um yeah, he's okay. He's not yours. If he was yours, I'd go, oh, look, you could develop him into a monster, but he's not yours, so just give him the game time you want. Next up, we've got Connor Wickham, one of those kids that showed so much potential, hasn't quite just, we've seen glimpses of it. So hopefully you guys can bring that out in him. He's still only 22 years old. He's a good all-rounder. He plays best as a target man. Um, and, and apparently he's really good at throwing the ball along, which is which is good, good for him. Good for him. But lots of room to improve. Definitely one for the... That's going to get game time. And then next up we've got Wilfred Zaha. Pretty much the same as in 22 years old. Tons of time to improve. He's very pacey. Um, preferred, preferred position is on the wing now. Um, his crossing's good. His dribbling's good. His flair's good. So he's going to beat people. Um, strength and natural fitness for a slight issue. I think he's going to tie near the end of games. Um, but a really good player. And next up we have... <laughs> Maran Shamak, who's actually all right in this. He's uh, a target man, and um, that gives you that option with his nice slick hair. Uh, decent player, really. Thirty-one years old. Not much to say. His finishing, obviously, is is as we know any Palace fan will tell you. His finishing's not the best. Um, his first touch is good. His composure's good. He's off the ball. Uh, composure's okay. He's off the ball is good. Yeah, he's not a bad player, especially as a, tar as a target man. Next up, we've got... So these two players are both transfer listed, but you can remove them if you decide to keep them. So we'll have a quick look. Fraser Campbell, 27 years old, um, valued at 5 million. So you might want to cash in, but he's a decent player. Um, he's kind of not going to improve much more than what he is there. He's 27, so... But he's a decent player. Um, we'll leave that to you to decide if you want to sell him or not. And then lastly, Dwight Gale... Um, 25 years old, valued at 6.5. I'd probably keep this guy. I quite like him. He's pacey. He's got good finishing. His first touch is a little bit weak. Composure's good. Off the ball's decent. He can still edit as well. He's good at free kicks. I'd keep this one. I'd probably sell Fraser Campbell. So, team-wise, left-back. Screaming out for a left-back. And then if you have money to spend, I either look for maybe best slightly better striking options or I probably would go for a goalkeeper and a left back would be my two choices right that about sums it up thank you very much for joining me guys um check on my channel I've got a ton more all different teams I've done the whole premiership I'm almost done now um and then we'll probably move on to the championship as well as career saves and tons of FM com content coming up so please like and subscribe that would be lovely and uh, I'll see you in the next video